What's going on, people? I pray y'all are doing well, my brothers and sisters, as we all top. Thank the Most High for so much. All praises, all glory to Ahia. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for the only unique begotten Son. The title says, Spiritual Discernment versus Assumptions. May, this is a video that responds back to you um, that you emailed me probably about two weeks ago. And the, pro the profile, excuse me, that you sent to me, uh, I'm very familiar with that person. Also very familiar with Geno Jennings too. Um, and I love your email about, you know, really paying close attention and having spiritual discernment. The reason why I want to use this title, um, there are a lot of people in this life that claim they have spiritual discernment and what they do is make a lot of assumptions on other people not knowing that person not really getting understanding so what they see is what they see they truth they way and I love how you um, put that in your email because I give an example on, on my page here um, especially in some a lot of my old videos um, the hand movements like you were saying about Geno Genesis. a lot of people talk with their hands and mean no harm and then a lot of people do use hand signals and all kind of gestures like you were saying um, in, your, in your email and like an example um, when I used to talk in my old videos I would always move my hand people were telling me man you must be part of Illuminati or you or you in Masonary man because you you throwing up the okay looking sign and the, the pyramid and and a good brother on her uh, brother Anthony Hall <clears throat> I told brother Hall this years ago um, cause brother Hall talks with his hands a lot people would email me saying man that dude is a Mason uh, you know different things different movements and that's why a lot of people make assumptions if they don't really know that's why I say you got people that's a part of these these maces and stuff, but then there's people that don't even know that they moving a lot when they speak, and I was one of them. And when I started looking back at the old video, I'm like, well, I do move my hands a lot. You know, and just to keep confusion down, I would practice not doing this stuff. I would do so many different takes in my videos without moving my hand, just so nobody wouldn't think, hey, man, he must be a mason. <clears throat> I, I've had so many people contact me thinking I was one of those pastors that's a mason. I said, you clearly don't know me. You got to really understand what I teach and what I go against. Um, and I tell people all the time, it's the assumptions of other people that call themselves using spiritual discernment and all they're doing is using assumptions. They see what they see. I am very hated by this world. Very hated. Um, very hated by this world, very hated by a lot of church folks, very hated by a lot of, by a lot of uh, pastors, period, because of what I, what, because of what I say, because I didn't go to the, uh, theology school, because I preach against uh, the prosperity preachers and all this mess. I love when y'all say, JT, man, people that's coming up against you, they clearly don't have spiritual discernment when they talk about this. Yeah, they, they, they have assumptions. They have assumptions, and it's those assumptions that lead a lot of other people the wrong way. Ain't it amazing how some people can, can get three people, three or four people to say, oh, I see what you see. And then in reality, ain't none of them got no understanding. They just using assumptions. That's why I'm very, very slow to speak and quick to hear. I've seen people in the past just really have real big fallouts behind not understanding each other and them, them, they call they always use the word spiritual discernment man you know spiritual discernment why is it if if let me ask this question <laughs> why is it if you around like, supposed to be like-minded believers who say they love each other and love the holy spirit why is the discernment not lining up answer that why is there no forgiveness why is there no moving on? Why is there always, 
well, this is spiritual discernment, spiritual discernment. But when it's supposed to be a rebuke, it's just assumptions. It's bits and pieces of things. See, you, you got to ask yourself, my brothers and sisters, what is that? That's why when you when you really take a good look at what's going on out here, you better watch the ones that's right by close to you. I told y'all years ago, I keep my friends close, but I keep my enemies closer. There are a lot of things said about me. Y'all already know that. But I'm bold enough to tell you and stand with against this world system, y'all. We need more people to be bold and stand against the system. It's the beast that's trying to, you know, shut us up. But when you have the Holy Spirit and you really look at the spiritual discernment, it operates in a beautiful way. I always say it's like a radar detector going on, do, 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 do. showing you this person, showing you that person. I've just been kind of reflecting back over the years, y'all, how long I've been on here. Um, and so many people that I still stay in contact with and some that just, you know, went on about their business. But it's a, it's a long road. And, and just looking back, reflecting back over these years, man, it's just a blessing to still be here and doing this right here and, and loving y'all and encouraging y'all. And we still moving forward when... I've looked at people that actually shut their pages down. Men that shut their pages down. Women that just say, "I hate JT. I can't. I can't deal with the comments no more. I can't deal with the the haters." Man, I tell you all the time that comes with it. Do you think out of 15, 16 years, <laughs> me being on here? Do you do you think I haven't had? Can you imagine what's been said about me on here out of all these years? But then you ask yourself this question: Why is JT still here? I've been told I had the Antichrist spirit. I've been told I'm, I'm part of the Antichrist. I've been told I'm a false prophet. I'm this, I'm that. All this stuff people say about me, it ain't nothing but fuel to my fire. You ever seen the kitchen fire and you go in there and throw some water on it and it <laughs> blaze up even higher? That's what my haters do to me. They make me just blaze up even higher in the Holy Spirit because if the devil is not bothering you, I keep telling y'all, you better check which side you on. So I just want to encourage you in this in this in this uh, video right here. A lot of people say they have a spiritual discernment, but it's nothing but assumptions. Especially when you got people who are real close to you and they watch your every move, like you were saying, like your cousin. Watch your cousin closely. Cause they watching you. But like I say, it don't matter what people say. Is it true is the question. That's why the Holy Spirit is the judge. It's a lot of assumptions. You know, that's what's wrong with a lot of church buildings. It's just gossip and assumptions. When people got problems with each other, they only have the time. They don't even go to each other. They go to the ones they gossip with. It's amazing how many people say they live these scriptures or they can post and quote all scriptures, but they can't do none of them. So I feel you. I feel you on that email. I love that email. But like I said, that's why I told um, Brother Hall when he was doing the gestures, uh, the, like you say, the hand gestures. He didn't even know. He wasn't even aware of it. But he wasn't aware of it. But a lot of people, like I say, just like I'm moving my hand now, if you don't if you don't know, you don't know. But then, like I say, you do have people that move with them hands. Um, to ask your question about Gino, um, Pastor Gino, I get that a lot. Um about people saying, look at his Bible and look at his hands, look at his, he's got to be a mason and this and that. But if you look at what comes out of Gino's mouth, now do I agree with everything he says? No. There's quite a few things I don't agree with, but that's fine. But um, I remember when he did a video going against the masons, talking about masonry, and was talking bad about them going in the room and, and with the, you know, putting the pants leg up and all that stuff. It's kind of hard when you tell somebody that they, they this and that, but what comes out of their mouth, they go against that. Just like when people tell me, I don't preach Christ. I don't preach Yahshua. Or I don't recognize Yahshua. Or, I'm, I'm part of the Antichrist. I, all I do is look past all this stuff. 
I'm a Mason. I'm this. I'm that. And I got videos going against Masons. I got videos, everything that they say I am, if you watch my page, I go against it. So how can I go against it and be for it? That's confusion. How can I be a part of, 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 of Illuminati or being a Mason and all, and all I do is talk about it and go against it? And I've had issues with them hitting me up. Or every time they try to ask me to be a part of, the, of some part of brotherhood or something, I go against it, I deny it. I got that in my family. So assumptions, and you remember back in the day as I closed, they would tell you when you make an assumption, you're making an A out of yourself. And that's what a lot of people are doing. Assumptions versus spiritual discernment. So what's going on is a spiritual discernment is off. That's my time. Shalom, family.